back to the channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Kitty and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I have decided to do kind of like a step-by-step -step house building tutorial. So today we're going to be building a very basic family home, kind of suburban looking, something that fits in this world of Willow Creek. Very similar to these houses probably, maybe a little bit more modern, I don't know. We're gonna see what happens, but this is very basic. This is for people, because I get a comment, like I get comments all the time saying, wow, you're so good at building. When I build something, it just turns out like a box. It doesn't have any shape to it. How do I build better houses? And so if you already are very familiar with building houses in The Sims 4, you will probably learn nothing new here. But I thought I would just show you guys the process of how I would create just a very basic but nice looking family house. I was going to start off with by saying I get so many questions asking, how the heck do you have infinite money? Well, Basically, you get infinite money by just going straight into build mode instead of play mode. So for example, if I was gonna go build in the goth house, if I click this play button and I then go into the build menu, I would just have the money that the goth family has. But if I were to click this button, which is build, you would go into the build world or build whatever mode where you have infinite money. So this is the lot we were on. I'm just gonna click build and we're gonna go here and we are gonna have infinite money as you can see. This is currently in free build mode. That's apparently what it's called. I didn't even know that. But yeah, that is how you get infinite money, so to say. And I think if you go in that mode on a family who already lives on that lot, then you go back and like play with that family. It didn't affect their funds at all, I think. So that is basically how you can do it. I'm not sure about that, but <laughs> that is how you get infinite money. But anyway, let's start to build a house. So First things first, like you start off with walls, obviously, and I always just press the B button to go here. To go into this walls menu, you press B. Another really like useful tips is K. Okay, let's just do the wall. If you wanna delete this wall, you can click K and you can delete whatever, like with K, you open this tool, which is like the sledgehammer and it just deletes anything you click on. Then you have this one, which is the design tool. So you click R really easy just click R and click R again you go back to the hand one and you can change the color of objects and if you want to pick the same object again so eyedropper you click E again and you have E those are the ones I'm going to be using all the time so I don't you don't see me going up here and like picking these tools because I just press the tool and then if you want to go to this one which is the select or hand tool or whatever you just press H that is basically how you do it I think that is enough rambling for now so let's start on our house so we are in uh what's this Willow Creek <laughs> in this very basic lot I think this lot is 30 by 20 so I'm not gonna build like a affordable house, we're just gonna build a house. So what I do first is sometimes I build like a box and then I build off the box, but today we're gonna start building, basically we wanna build where we wanna put our door first. So doors for houses like this are usually too wide. So you don't wanna build a wall that is three wide because then you're gonna have the door here and you're gonna have like a random random little wall piece here. Like you wanna you want it to be symmetrical so that's why you should always go like four wide or six wide so you can have more windows on the side but i'm not gonna feel like a humongous house today so we're gonna go four wide then to not make this like box we're gonna go one in i think today and then one out here to make a little bit more dimensions and then to bring it out a little bit more again we're gonna make another little area here for like a little window or two windows to go here just to add a little bit more dimension like this is basically gonna be the front of the house like that is super simple door here windows here and here and then we're gonna make like a little patio area here I think and that is it then we're gonna just make this go to the back I think I want to make this like an even number oh my god yeah i want to make this an even number so i think this is 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 yeah that is 10 long uh and then we can connect this and uh, yeah it still looks a little bit like a box from the other side so what we're gonna do now 
is we can add some more dimensions to the back. We could copy the exact same shape, why not? But I think we could do something different. So I'm gonna select the room tool to just make it a little bit more easier. Um, we're gonna create a little room like that, because why not? Then if you hold control while you are in this wall tool, it actually deletes the wall instead of placing it down when you pull it. So that is an easy way to get rid of walls. Then I think we could add a room to the side as well. So how about over on this side, we could add another little room. I'm going to try to make all these symmetrical because I just really prefer when things are symmetrical. So by that, I mean that there's two blocks on this side and two on that side. Do we want to make it a little bit bigger like there maybe, or is it too big? Let's just go with that for now. And let's delete this again or no, let's leave that for now. So that is pretty much the house shape. I'm gonna add a little chimney on that side in a second, but I'm gonna make these two stories. So what you're gonna wanna do next, really easy, you just click on this and we have this copy tool. You copy this and you're gonna place it on top and whoa, you have like a house almost. So I didn't wanna copy this room because I actually want this room to be only on the first floor. So I'm gonna add a roof on top of that. And now to make this wall seem a little bit less just flat and boring i'm gonna add a chimney to this side so this is like a handmade chimney i think kayla does this a lot out a few other simmers that i've watched actually i want to use this one so we're gonna make a little chimney there we're gonna add a chimney on top of that and here you go here is the basic shape of a house and it already looks quite good in my opinion it's definitely not a box and next thing we're gonna do is put roofs on this roofing is very important and roofing is free in the sims 4 none of this costs anything as you can see so you can go crazy with roofs even if you want to have like a very affordable house so we're gonna start off with making a roof for this part. Oh, I think we're a bit too high, there we go. We can see the grid now. So I think I'm gonna be using uh, this hipped roof to make this roof. So I'm gonna make it the wide, like this box kinda, to go all over this box. And I don't want it to be this high at all. I think around that would be a pretty decent height for that roof. And then to make the house pretty, we're gonna use this gabled roof on these parts at the front. So this one here, and you don't want it to like end there. As you can see, it looks really, really awkward. So you wanna pull this all the way into this other roof so you can't see where it kind of ends and it all just like blends in together really nicely. Then we're gonna put two more on these two, make it too wide so it goes in there. That already blends in and we can copy that to the other side. There you go, see? That kind of looks like a cute house already. Then on this side, we're gonna need another roof. This one's a little bit wider, but here we go. I think I don't want it to be that high. A little bit lower and pull it in here again. And yeah, it's perfect height. It doesn't come through. There we go, that's cute. And then we're gonna wanna put a roof on here too. So you could use one of these roofs if you want. So something like this. Okay, so you don't want it to be higher than this wall here. As you can see, it's a little bit higher. Then it will show on the inside, which is really, really bad. So just make that a little bit lower and boom, you can't see from the inside. So that is one option, but I honestly think I'm just gonna use one of these gabled roofs again for this side. I just think it looks a little bit cuter. So there we go. Pull that down a little bit and you have a roof. I think it's still a little bit too tall. So there you go. Now the house is roofed pretty much and it's looking a lot better already, but this is totally optional. This is just something I like to do is to put a roof around here as well. I just think it adds so much more detail and you're gonna see in a second when I do it, but it just looks so much cuter. I don't know, it just like makes the house look more interesting. So for these roofs, I always use this one, which is a half tip roof. I think you might be able to use this one too, but we're gonna start off with this one. Uh, I'm gonna start from this corner here. So we wanna face it so it's this way. I don't know how to explain that, but we are gonna put it here so it comes out from all the sides by one block or I don't know, one, I keep calling them blocks, like this is Minecraft, but you get what I mean. So it just comes out a little bit and we're gonna make this pretty, pretty flat. Maybe not all the way flat, maybe around there. Um, we're also gonna pull it from this side into here. So you can't see it ending because it's going into that roof. And then we're gonna copy this to the other side like this, turn it around. 
and there we go we have a little roof here we can pull this onto here so it's not clipping actually we might pull this one one more so we don't get that little line there and there you go as you can see I don't know if this is what houses would have in real life, I don't freaking know, but I think it looks so much cuter and it adds so much more to the house. Uh, if we are going to add a porch here, this is going to be the roof for the porch, so that's perfect. Like, I just think it makes it look so much cuter. I don't know, like, it's totally optional. I'm going to add it on this side as well, but as you can see, this would be totally fine without it, but I just really, really like it, so I'm going to be adding it. This is just something I do sometimes. Just to make the house look a little bit more interesting. But again, it is totally, totally optional. So let's add this to this side as well. Oh, that's way too high. So we're going to bring this one down and one up. There we go. By the way, if you hold Alt, you can move this like really freely. I see we can see it doesn't need to click onto things. But I'm trying to make them all the same height. So I'm not using Alt this time. And then let's pull this all the way into here and then we're going to put it on the other side. So we're going to use the half hipped roof, turn it this way and there we go. Really, really cute. Pull that into there and down and there you go. This is a step by step kind like I said. So I'm going to show you guys like everything I'm doing. And I am going to add it around this part as well just so it doesn't look so naked i don't know i just i'm thinking it looks a little bit weird so for here we're gonna do it this way and there we go maybe put this in one more and bring it down and bring it one up so they're all the same height and there you go i don't know if it looks weird i don't know if it looks what you guys think but i really like it i think it looks super cute and i really really prefer my roofs like that so there you go we have pretty much all the roof on the house now what we're gonna do next is make the little patio area so to make this you don't want it to have walls obviously so you can go into the wall tool and you can grab this tool here which is the flat square you could place this here pull it pull it all the way around make it go into all these little holes etc a really easy way to just have like the exact kind of porch you want is to use this tool which is the wall tool just make a roof here i mean <laughs> a wall a room here and now you can see it got the it has the flooring then you just delete this same uh wall that you just placed there you go and now we have the perfect size little patio and now when we put some foundations on this house it's gonna make it into a patio there you go is it called a patio i think it is and then we're gonna delete the roof of course because that looks a little bit weird but there you go now we have a patio, perfect. It's actually maybe it's a little bit too big. So we might bring that in so it's just too wide here. And we might actually bring the roof out now so that it does cover the whole patio area. There we go, cute. And next thing, we're gonna add some columns or pillars here so that something is holding up the roof so it's more realistic. So it isn't just hanging like that far off from the house so we're just gonna i don't know what kind of pillars do you want to use do you want to use something that matches these other houses i don't know that's not really my style but we might use something like this yeah this is pretty basic we can just use white today so i'm gonna put some on the corners again try to be like symmetrical with this i just think it makes it look so much better so we can put some here on these corners and then some maybe here and here and then again here and here i'm looking that so that they kind of match the corners of these little rooms here so it doesn't look weird if there was a pillar like right in the middle of that room because it would block the window and it would just block the view basically so this makes a little bit more sense and then we could add a fence around this so like you don't just fall off your porch so what kind of fence do we want today something simple i don't know i didn't plan this house out that well <laughs> let's just use this one so we're gonna put uh, a little fence around here we're gonna leave this part empty because we're gonna put the stairs there so you can access your house that would probably be pretty handy so there you go now you have a little fenced porch here you can put cute little benches here or something you could sit out there and then we're gonna pull out some chairs chairs 
some stairs, that's what I meant to say. Just basically any stairs will do. I'm just looking for white ones. There we go. And make them a little bit wider. And there you have your entrance to your house. See this house? I think it's already looking quite cute. We could make another porch at the back if you want to have a back entrance or just a porch. I don't know. Yeah, it's called a porch, not a patio. Is that the same thing? Well, I meant to say porch. <laughs> and we could have a pool back here, but maybe we'll just make... Maybe we'll make a little patio down here as well. Porch, oh my gosh. Kitty, what are you saying? So let's make one here, this size. Uh, the same way we did at the front. This is super easy. Now we have a, a porch and again, delete this roof. And then we might pull this out a little bit. Uh, does this look weird if I pull that all the way there? Hmm, maybe we do this. And then we make the porch a little bit weird shaped. So we're gonna delete these parts here. Oops, there we go. Oh, let's just use this tool to make a little room here. Uh, we're gonna delete the bottom. There we go, then the walls. So now the porch is a little bit different shaped, but it makes more sense when these come all the way here that it's covering the whole porch. Okay, there you go. <laughs> That looks a little bit better. I don't know. What do you guys think? So let's pull out the columns again. Again, I'm using the E tool and clicking on the column to bring these guys up. Okay, I messed that up. I need to fix that. But here you go. Putting them at the edge of the roof pieces. Here we go. Some over here on the sides. And there you go. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to fix that little part. There we go, all fixed. And we could use the fencing again. So let's grab the fencing, pull that in here. Depending where you wanna have, like you could have a door here, anywhere here or over here, depending on your like room layout on your house. But that depends, oops, where you wanna be putting the stairs to come out to the backyard. But let's just do it like this for now. So you could have the stairs right there. And then you could have like a nice little pool area or something down here. But I don't think we're gonna be doing that in today's video. So here you have a basic nice looking house, if I say so myself. So next thing we're gonna do, I think we could just color the roof for now. So this is where you go to the roof patterns. You should always use like any of these on your roof because this is so basic. This just looks like you didn't color your roof. Like you need to put something there. So we could do like a black roof, a red one, just a basic one. I kind of like this one. This one makes me think it's really modern, but I don't know. Maybe we'll use this one or maybe we'll just use this one. This one is so basic, but like really nice. Yeah, let's use this one for now and it's dark so it adds a bit of contrast when I'm going to be putting more white in this house. So there you go. And then you definitely, definitely are going to be needing this roof trim. It's like these just make your entire house. So I think we have this one on right now, which is this, like you can kind of see it there. It's very thin. You can barely see it. We have this crazy one, which I rarely use because this is huge. Like look how thick that is. I don't like that. This one is very tiny as well. Like, I always just use this one. This one is so basic. And you're going to want to put this on, like, all of your roofs. You can put it in white. You can pick any of these colors. We could have, like, pink roof trims. We could go for, like, a grayish blue. Or just, like, black. Oops. Black ones. That could be good, too. But I think today we're just going to go for a white one because we want to have, like, a basic house. There we go. I'm going to put that all around, even on that roof piece. Here we go. Yeah, this is turning out cute. There you go. So now this little chimney piece here looks really off because this isn't white. So we're going to go into here, into the room or wall tools. And then here are half wall trims. And we're just going to pick a white trim. And that looks so much better. Okay. So here we have a house now. <laughs> What it needs next is probably some wallpaper. So I think we're just going to grab some siding from here something really basic i think what do we want today oh do we want like a pink house oh my gosh it doesn't go with this um <laughs> really dark roof though so maybe we'll go for like a bluish one that's kind of cute so let's put this all around the house make sure it goes oops everywhere we don't need it on the chimney because i'm gonna make the chimney like actually made out of bricks <laughs> so it makes a little bit more sense but we're gonna put the siding everywhere else and then for the chimney, we are going to use some bricks 
for example, something really basic. What do we have? This one? Yeah. See now this makes more sense if for this to be a chimney. And then we're going to grab a chimney from here. I think there is a matching one to that here. And put this on top. And oh my god. Can you go in there please? Oh, ah! There you go. <laughs> oh my god. Boom. You have like a DIY chimney now on the side of your house. It just adds a little bit more something there so it's not so flat. I like it. It could be a bit shorter, but I do like it. And if you wanted to add even more chimneys, I think chimneys always just make your house look better. You could add one right there, but we're not going to do that today. But chimneys just, especially if you're doing like more like fantasy themed houses, just put a lot of chimneys. Chimneys are great. <laughs> okay, so next thing I'm thinking of is just this foundation definitely needs a color. So we're gonna want to put you something with it. Do we want to just use this? These are all free, I think, as well. Yep, they're all free, so you could do whatever you wanted with your foundation. You could make it look like made out of stone. I really like this one from Get Together, but I think we're gonna go for something simple today. Maybe this one, and then you can change the color of like the top part. We'll, we'll go for white to, to begin with, and then we'll see if it needs to change to something else. Let's see, put it there and on the patio back here as well. Porch, whichever it is. And there you go. All right. Next thing, which we could have done in the beginning is we're going to put a door in. <laughs> we're going to need a door. So hopefully I'm not going too fast for you guys, but this is just basically how I build a house. I think you guys can keep up. I hope so. So we're going to look for a two wide door. These two are, this is a three wide. So it's this one. Oh, they're really cute so do we have something similar like this one is a two wide door we really like that one for this house actually we could use that one but these ones are like really modern and then again this one i think this one's more like an indoor door or maybe that's just me i think and this one is really nice but that one's again really modern so we're gonna grab that one today and what color do we want maybe just white i think white is always good and there you go now we have an entrance to our house oh my god something i'm now thinking of that i use i like i tend to do this all the time is not to use the same wallpaper everywhere so we are using this siding right now we could grab this siding in another color like this one for example yeah does this one look bad no this one looks okay and then as you have like for example you can't change like okay you can't do that that looks really really weird like there is no reason for the color of the siding to change there in the middle of the like wall that doesn't make any sense but we do have these little like rooms that come out that you could easily change the color of like this and on this side and like this doesn't look that out of place now it kind of looks like its own room it makes sense that the color can change there because there's a corner so i often do this again i don't know if this is realistic if houses in real life would have this but this just adds like so much more like i don't know something to your house dimension detail whatever it is but it just makes it look more interesting and it's not so plain and again I really like this. I do this all the time. I might even grab like a stone wallpaper and make that out of stone. That looks so cute in my opinion. So this is like a tip that I do all the time. So I'm actually going to leave these two like that and we might make this room over here as well to be this brown color instead of this. Is this blue or green? I don't know. And then back here, I don't know. Do we want this whole thing to be? Oh, what happened there? I don't know. Where did it go? Uh, let's see. Do we want this to be brown as well? Uh, yeah, it could be, I don't know. This is just, this is my style. You might not like this at all. It might be very unrealistic, but I think it just adds a little bit more to the house so it's not so boring. So there you go. One of the last things we're going to be doing is adding in some windows. So we're going to want to have some kind of matching windows to the door just so it all goes well together. I like these windows that came from Parenthood. They're actually really, really cheap. They're only 30 simoleons. I mean, kind of go with this more suburban, bit traditional looking house. But we also have like these ones that have the, what are these called? The, what are they called? I forgot, but these things that you like close the window with, totally forgot what they're called. These are actually really good, cute. We could have two right there. We could take this one or we can go down here and we have like really, really big ones like this one, for example. Okay, again, here, I'm going to turn move objects on. So we're going to open the cheap panel with, um, oh my God, what is it? 
<laughs> Shift. Uh, oh my god, I do it automatically. I didn't even think how you open it. I think it's control, shift, and C. And then you're gonna type in bb.move objects and hit enter. And you can uh, you can close this window by clicking escape. Now we have move objects on. Yeah, it's definitely shift, control, and C. I just tried it again. And now we can place this window like anywhere, literally anywhere. Move objects on. I have that always on when I'm building. But here you go. We could have a huge window here, which actually looks kind of cute. But is it like, why can we not place it here? Is it clipping with the roof or what's the problem here? Let's look from the inside. That looks fine. I don't know what the problem is, but I think that's a little bit too big for me. We have this one. This one doesn't go because it's three wide and it would look really weird here. You want to have something centered so it looks symmetrical it doesn't look weird <laughs> that's how i can describe it and then we have these cute little ones that could go on these really well but i kind of like these parenthood ones for down here at least i don't know i need to think about this for a while all right i decided to go for these windows for now i don't know i didn't want to think about it for too long but i really like them and i like to put a lot of windows in my houses it just makes them look so much better so we have these are different windows we have three types of different windows here but they all kind of match together they're all the same color same theme so i really like them and i think yeah it looks cute and now we're gonna put these around the rest of the house what you might want to do is you might want to make your floor plan first so you see where your walls are going to go because you don't want to put like for example you don't want to have a wall there and then put a window here like that just it's in the middle of the like wall look at it from the inside that looks really really awful so you might want to do your floor plan first and then you might want to put in your windows so they don't want to do that or you might just put your windows in first and then figure out the floor plan around them which is what I usually do because I suck with floor planning so I'm just gonna put in some windows in a cute symmetrical way don't go too crazy or you're gonna have no space for walls anywhere or like paintings but we're gonna put some of them all around the house yes I love that okay I like that and then this window is so cute to put on top here again it's not centered which sucks but what you can do is put two next to each other but I don't really like that there but in some places it definitely works like we could try here in the front of the house no it doesn't go today it does not go but sometimes like here it's gonna go oh it's not <gasps> well sometimes it's gonna center in the middle here and it looks really good I think it like if this wall if this roof was one wider like that so we could be able to put it in the middle of the roof which looks really really cute so i really like doing that but today we're not doing that apparently and i think that is it for the windows that looks good uh we need to color this porch area with like i don't know let's just use wood today i'm gonna turn it this way so it makes more sense we could do the same at the back here there we go. Maybe grab some stairs for the back of the house. Can we reach them? There we go. And there we go. Oh my god. This house is pretty much ready. I love it. It's so cute. Again, it's very simple, but really, really cute. It looks good. It looks like you put a lot of effort into it. Like, obviously, it's not ready. You could do so many more things with it. Like, oh my god, I want to continue, but I don't want to make this video, like, super long. It's probably, like, half an hour already. But we could grab some of these window boxes full of flowers and put them, oh, like, there. Oh my god, yes. Okay, so I really like these. These are so cute. And they add so much more detail to your house. There you go. Oh my god, so much cuter already. Then you want to have a path there, or you can use tiles, or you can do terrain painting, which is, again, free, but we might use some tiles today. I don't know what tiles, oh my god, just something very simple, like this guy. Yeah, sure, and why not? And then some landscaping around the house. We're going to put down a few trees, probably, like this one over here, and maybe that one's a bit too big for this lot. Oh, I like this one. That one's cute. Okay. We might even put another one over here and some at the back of the house of course and then just do some landscaping like what i always do is put something around like here where like the tree is growing so it doesn't just look so plain it's just like popping out of the ground so you want to add some flowers or something down here basically anything goes oh my god yellow into this house i'm not so sure about that but why not you can always add some of these like 
stones and something and around this tree as well and that is gonna be pretty much it if you guys want to see a tutorial on like landscaping or something let me know down below in the comments i'm not a pro or anything but i do enjoy doing it and like i do always do it all around the house but I'm not going to do it in this video, but here is our finished house for today. I'm not going to go through again floor planning or the inside in today's video. If you want to see that, let me know down in the comments. If you want to see more tutorials or any kind of ideas you might have. Again, I am not like a super pro builder. I think I'm okay, but I don't know. I know there are a lot of way better builders out there, but... This was just like a really basic tutorial so you can build a house that doesn't look like a box and the next thing you want to do is like do the floor plan put some stairs in there and like decorate your house furnish your house and that is gonna be it oh my god this definitely needs some posts right there so much better <laughs> anyways i'm gonna put this house as it is now on the gallery if you want to download it and furnish it you can send me pictures on twitter i would love to see and hopefully this helped you guys. Tell me down in the comments if it did or if you have any other tutorial ideas like I said or what other kind of videos you'd like to see. Give the video a thumbs up if it helped you, if it was a good video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, that is gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye bye!